Hello and welcome to Label Zone TV and we're going to be unboxing the Bother P-Touch E550 WVP. Uh, when you purchase it, it will appear like this in its hard carry case. There's sometimes a plastic sleeve on it uh, just for protection in shipping. We've already removed that. We get a paper sleeve here which has loads of details about the printer on it. So if we flip it over to the back We'll see further information. It comes with a lithium ion rechargeable battery and AC adapter. It will print on TZ tapes 3.5mm to 24mm. It has Wi Fi and USB for computer and phone connectivity. And it will print on FAS face plates, cable wraps, cable flags patch panels, punch down blocks or just your standard labels. It's got 384 built in symbols, has the ability for sequential numbering and barcodes, also has a database and built in memory to transfer labels onto it. So you can recall those at a later time. It's got a large LCD display that is backlit and the cutter on this machine is fully automatic. It will run off uh, six AA batteries if you don't happen to have the rechargeable battery charged with you at the time. The unique thing about this printer is it will also print onto the heat shrink tubing, which is uh, new for brother. So let's pop it open and have a little look. So, so the sleeve just comes off like that. So put that to one side, and here you'll see it's got the P Touch logo here. That implies that it's the correct way up. I'm going to flick it around to the side and over here. We've got these little tabs here. They just pop open. This case is as much as it's plastic. It's very solid. Pop it open here. You can see everything inside. So, let's pull this apart. We've got the printer, as you'd expect. So we'll put that to one side, we'll come to that in a minute. So a little bit of protective paper, that can probably go in the bin. Uh, one handy little thing that's stuck inside the case is this list here. I uh, probably can't see it glare from the light. We'll get a close-up photo of that but it's got the list of all the TZ tapes available, different colours and sizes with the part numbers. So if, for example, you wanted a 12mm black on yellow, go across to 12mm, go down the list till you see black text on yellow back in, and you'll see that it's TZ631 or TZE631. Other things we've got are the USB cable, that would be for con computer connectivity. The power adapter for running it off the mains or charging the battery, we'll use that. The rechargeable battery, we'll be using that as well. And some tapes. Tapes included are the TZEFX231, so that is a flexible white text, sorry, black text on white background. This is suitable for curved surfaces, doing things such as wire wraps or wire flags, because it's flexible. The standard TZ tapes are not flexible enough and will just peel back off. Also got a TZE S651, so that is black text on yellow backing. It's a 24mm and the S stands for strong adhesive, so that would be put in somewhere where you do not want it to come apart. I've also got here, you've got a little lanyard and some extra little bits. Let's have a look what the extra little bits are. Aside from the CD and instruction manual, which we won't be using today. What have we got here? You've got instructions, you've got your tape guide. We've got a quick labelling guide, 
so depending on what sort of labels you're looking to do guide you through the function keys on how to do them that might be useful we could use that more quick start guides and this unusual little thing what is this this looks like a ruler that's handy so it's a uh, translucent and it's almost see completely through it and it's a ruler uh, it's suitable for helping you measure up patch panels that's quite handy that's also a new feature none of the other printers came with that and that's the hard carry case so we'll get rid of that let's get down to business with the printer so let's have a look this is the printer here it's got a few little protective bits on it which we will take off uh, always fun so let's see if we can take this off here this one here not sure why they are there probably a reason and the screen protector that's always a pleasure to peel off okay so feels good in the hand it is empty so it'll be a little bit heavy once we get the battery in there the tapes weigh next to nothing so there'll be no no difference there the keys are clicky I'm not sure if the camera's picking this up that's a uh, quite handy because previous printers the keys have not been clicky and if you're typing quickly it can uh, you can sometimes feel that well you can sometimes miss a letter because you haven't fully pressed the button but this is the I think this is one of the first handheld brother printers to feature a quality keyboard so much like what you have on your computer have a keyboard as an example layout is very similar so Q W E R T Y U I O P exactly the same so if you're used to typing away you'll be very familiar with where the buttons are here so you can very quickly type on it keys are rubberized and it's rubberized around here and here all around the back makes it nice and easy if we go to the back Little window, actually a window this time as well. Previous ones have not been a window, it's just been a hole. It's handy because you can see what tape is installed when you put it in there, but where it's been a hole previously and not a window, uh, you can get dust inside. But now we fix that issue. So it pops open, it's a little press button here, press that, pops open. So if we look here. Here we can see we've got the battery compartment and the tape compartment. So the battery compartment you can see it's got the markings to say which way will round the AA battery to go. We're not using AA's, we're using the battery pack. So there's the terminals, there's the terminals, so I imagine they would go in like that. There we go. Okay, so the battery's been installed and it is now fully charged, so it's ready to go. The only thing that's left is to choose a tape. So, options I've got are 24mm black on yellow, strong adhesive, or 12mm black on white, flexible adhesive. Uh, we're gonna go with the flexible one first, just because one of the options I wanna show you are these two here. So, let's turn this printer on, all from fresh. And there we go. As you can see, the screen is very nice and clear. It's currently got all its uh, features you can see here. The text size is automatic. That's the font. That means it's in uppercase. That means the text is centralized. Um, and that shows which way round the text is. This down here says it's a general label. This says your line number size of the tape, the length of the current label, and your battery status. So let's put the tape in, shall we? So you don't have to switch these printers off, unlike some competitors, you don't have to switch them off. 
you just drop the tape in like this, it only goes one way, sits in and clicks, don't go any further and it's good to go. Pop the back cover back on. And it's all set up and ready. So, unlike some competitors, you don't have to switch it off to put a tape in. And also, this one is clever in knowing what size tape is in there. So you can see it's come up here 12 mil automatically. So this is just a general label. What we'll put in is, we'll put in the website. So that's to make it lowercase. You'll notice it disappears from that corner there again no, I want it lowered hit the wrong button <laughs> and there we go so that's very easy to type on and you can now see the overall length of this tape is going to be 69 millimeters and we can go into this button here which is your fonts and styles so you can change the font face. Let's go through, you've got lots of different ones. You've got some fancy looking ones, you've got some stencil looking ones. And you've got some gothic looking ones there. Let's go for that one, I quite like that one. You've got your different sizes, so you can start small, go big. Let's go halfway, so 48. Let's go 24. Width. Uh, I'm happy with the width. And let's go outline. That should be interesting. Yeah, you can preview it. So that's what it's going to look like. And then you can print it. Labelzone.co.uk on a flexible label. Across the top here, you've got your label types. Uh, we've just done the demo with general, and uh, the next one across is a fixed block. So you can tell it the label length, number of blocks and the orientation you want it. So let's have it that way around. So we can say, uh, let's actually put this in capitals, boom, one. We use the next arrow to go across. Two and mm, let's say bathroom. So we can preview this, what it's going to look like. Happy with that, and we can press print. So, the type of thing you can use this label for is uh, a fuse box where you've got your fuses, set size. It's clear and easy to read, room one, room two, and bathroom. The next label type, which is why I loaded the flexible tape, is the cable wraps. So press this button here, you can, by default you can manually override the diameter of the cable. So it's set to six mil, you can choose to override with the length, um, i.e. circumference of the cable. Or you can choose predefined ones such as CAT5, CAT6, COAX, um, AWG and you select the value of that. Uh, but we're going to go diameter and we're going to say 7. You can turn repeat on and off, we're going to leave it on. So what we'll do is we will just say uh, means. We're going to do a wrap on a means cable. So we can preview it, that's what it's going to look like. 
I'm okay with that. Let's print it. So here we can see that's the actual length of the tape. It does what's called a part cut, so we can peel that off there. And all it says is mains, 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 mains. So when you wrap this around a cable, you can tell it's the mains cable. Let's see if I can steal one of the studio light cables for this demo. Let's just drag this one over here. And just wrap this around. Nice flexible label. Now, no matter what angle you view it from, you can see that this is a mains cable. And that's the cable wrap. The next label type is flag labels. Similar sort of thing, uh, except instead of it repeating, you can choose to have it repeat on both sides of the flag or um, different data on each one. So we're going to go different data on each one. Flag length, uh, we can make it a bit smaller. Let's go 20 mil. Cable diameter, that's up that to seven. Mil orientation, yeah, I'm happy with that. And that's it, so let's go okay. So you've got your two sections. So let's say let's go mains. Oh, that's spelled main. That's spelled mains correctly. That's about what I wanted. Two, four, zero. Oh, now I've got a 1 instead of a 2, so we don't actually have to delete everything back. We can just go back, delete, put 2. And if we go across again, we're now in the second section. Let's put a symbol in here. So let's go. Do, 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 do. Ah, safety, here we are. Let's, um, Seems good, that's like a warning. So let's preview that so it's gonna look something like that. I'm happy with that. Let's print it. Right, so let's actually have a little bit more look at the cutting side of things. So it's an automatic cutter. Um, it does a full cut of the label. Uh, now the technology of the tapes, you'll be familiar with this on um, pretty much every label print you see out there, whether it be Brother, Dymo, Casio or Croy, you'll always get a little bit of wastage at the front. So the part cut here allows you to easily peel it like that. Um, but if we look on the back, you can see there is a split down the backing paper, so you can peel it one at a time. But we'll go with the part cut, because the printer has gone to the time and effort to do the part cut for us. So, you've got a dotted line down the middle. That shows where the centre of the label is, and where that should be on your centre cable. So let's take the, the cable from our lighting over here where we did the wire wrap a minute ago. So line this up correctly on here. And there we go, that's our flag. So we can see the warning symbol that I wanted on that side. Flip it over and we can see Mains 240 volt. Next label type is patch panel. So let's go into here. You can choose your block length, which is 15mm by default. You can make it bigger or smaller. 
So that will be each block is 15 mil. You can say the number of blocks. We're going to drop that down to three, just for this demo. You can choose your separator. Uh, you can have borders, thick borders, a whole round border, nothing, a couple dots or a few mini dots. So we're going with that. Choose your orientation. Whether you want it reversed, got advanced, and whether you want margins or not. So we're just going to go with that. I'm happy with it. Right, so imagine this is a patch panel. Uh, we're going to say we'll have a living room. As an example, next one, let's go kitchen. It won't be long before you have network points in your kitchen. And the last one, let's choose bedroom. Let's have a little peek at that. That looks good. I'm happy with that. Let's print it. So let's have a look. So, ignoring that bit there, completely peeled off the wrong bit. But here is your patch panel label. So this would go on your patch panel. As you can see, we've got little dots to separate them. The room, kitchen, bedroom, in order, same size. That can be happily stuck on a patch panel so you know what goes where. And that's the patch panel label. The last label type that this printer has, which is a new one, is punch down block. Uh, it's been a strongly requested feature and now it's here. So you can choose your module width, uh, 20 centimeters on here. You can choose your block type, so how many pairs. We'll just choose it blank. Let's go four pairs, sequence type, various different ones. Uh, start value. So let's just go like that. Your one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can obviously put your own text in there. You can tell it to clear the text, but let's just go with that. So here we see it is the set length that we requested and you've got your numbers inputted as shown. And that's your punch down block. One feature this printer has over other printers on the market and its competitors is Wi-Fi capabilities. Now once set up the Wi-Fi can easily be switched on and off using the button down here but you can also switch it off and on in and configure it in the menu by choosing WLAN and go into network mode. Here we see we have direct and infrastructure mode. By choosing direct mode there is no Wi-Fi router required. You just connect directly to your mobile device wherever you are. With infrastructure mode you connect to a local Wi-Fi hotspot the benefit of doing this is your mobile device still has internet capabilities. This way you can download templates on the fly from the iPrint and Label app. The app is free to download from the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Be aware if you're using an iPad you need to go to the iPhone Store. There is also other apps available including Transfer Express and the cable label tool. 
Okay, so we've got the printer connected to the phone through the Wi-Fi and we are ready to go ahead. So this is the iPrint and Label app. We can choose a simple label. So what we're going to quickly do, so it thinks 24mm tape is in there, it's not. So we're going to press this button here which will check media. There we go media detected. It knows it's 12mm tape in there now. So we're going to just type in label zone. That looks good. Um, might change the font face. Let's choose uh, Atlanta, that looks nice. Maybe drop the size down a little bit, drop it down to about 18 and make it bold. Okay, so I'm going to put the size up a little, up to 20. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So once you're happy with your label, press print, and it gets sent through the Wi-Fi network to the printer. So now we can see, even though it's doing it through the app, it's still doing your part cut. We can peel it off. We can see it looks exactly how it does on the screen. The label size, the font size, the font face, everything is exactly the same. Which is uh, very good. You can also choose from templates to get the templates downloaded from the other website. So it can take a little while. Let's go for barcode. Our internet speed isn't the fastest. Let's see what barcodes we want. Let's go for a QR code. It says, gives us information, double tap the area to edit. Right, now what we can do. And put in a barcode. And QR codes will take pretty much all characters. should fit fine and we can print this. So now we have a barcode. As you can see it's exactly the same as it appears on there and you can scan that. You will be able to scan that and it will read clearly because it's very very fine print on these printers. You've also got Label Collection, which is a selection of labels, with, uh, graphic labels, that are available to use. Various different ones. So we could choose this because we want it to be stuck above a light switch for example. There we go. Again, exact same quality that you see on your screen, exact same size. Label ready to use. Now, if I was to change the TZ tape from my 12mm black and white to my 24mm black and yellow, we'll notice something ever so slightly different will occur. So if we go back, 
go into caution, let's choose the danger one. Now it still thinks it's 12mm. So let's refresh the media. It's detected that it's 24mm, you can see that there. And it's also changed the colour to black on yellow, which is the colour in, inside the printer. So we can now choose this to print. So what you see on screen is what you get on your label. Now going back to the simple labels. So for example, we wanted to leave that as is. But we wanted to save it. Go to your menu, click save. Now you've got save data. So you can go to save labels, save labels, and we can see it in there. There's one I saved earlier. We can probably delete that one. You can also attach photos. Obviously they'll be printed in black and white or black and yellow, depending on what colour tape you've got in. I'll also be doing a step-by-step -step guide which you can find on our blog, which is blog.labelzone.co.uk. You can purchase this from our website, labelzone.co.uk. We do a wide selection of the TZ tapes and we do free standard delivery. We're based in Poole, Dorset. Uh, most of our items are shipped the same working day if ordered before 4pm. Thank you for watching.